Hello, this is Chad. Today I'm going to be changing the Wi-Fi network on my Ring Video Doorbell 2. Let's get started. First thing we want to do is grab our Ring screwdriver. If you don't still have this, you can use a Torx T15 or TR15 or just a 15, but it has to be a Torx. You just want to loosen the screw on the bottom. Pull it out and then I like to just take the end of the screwdriver and just push up on the cover. Sometimes it's a little hard to get off. Next we're going to open the Ring app, click on the menu at the top left hand side where the three little lines are at, go down to devices and touch that. Then tap on your doorbell. Mine's called front door, so I'm going to tap on that. Next, touch device health. Then go down to change Wi-Fi network. Touch that. And it says, please be near your front door and have your Wi-Fi password handy. So I'm going to hit continue. And I've already taken the cover off, so I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now we're just going to tap the button right there, just once. And this should start spinning white. And I'm going to hit continue on the app. And now it says that the Ring wants to join the Wi-Fi network of the Ring Video Doorbell 2, which I'm going to hit join. So now my phone is connecting to the doorbell. Okay, so it says that it's scanning for Wi-Fi SSIDs and uh, it's asking me if I want to connect to the same network that my phone was previously connected to before we connected to the doorbell. And normally I'd hit just yes, but I just wanted to show you how it brings up all the networks that it can find. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit mine, which is secured. And I'm going to type in my password. Hopefully yours is more secure than mine. And then I'm going to hit continue. Now it turned blue and it's going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Once it goes to white, then it's all done. So it should go to white right now. It's actually checking to see if there's an update, which there isn't. Okay, so now it's to white. Now we're good to go. One thing, currently there's an error in the software. If I hit continue, it's going to take me as if I'm going through initial setup. And you don't need to do that. So what I'm going to do right now is just close the app because it's connected and I know it's connected and I'll go back in my Ring app and you can see that I'll go down to devices as you can see it's online it's all finished you can go ahead and stick your cover back on and then just put the screw back in the bottom that's it thank you for watching and please subscribe